Hello, welcome back to my channel. I am Simply Brentley. Don't forget to get your energy in and like, comment, and subscribe. All right, y'all, let's go on the ground. This is for all my beautiful, wonderful Sagittarius. So let's remove all that negative energy, only accepting positive energy. Y'all, so let's see what the T is. So I'm getting somebody coming back to in your energy and I was just doing a reading about this and it was like, do a Sagittarius reading about this. Okay, so I've been led to go ahead and do a Sagittarius reading about somebody get, coming back into your energy to use you for sex. Let's talk about sex, baby. Let's talk about you and me. Let's talk about all the good things and the bad things that make me. So let's see. What do we have here? First things first. First thing first. Ah, oh, oh. Oh, yeah, they're freak off. My honey is all right. This person is a playboy, play girl. They are really a, and they slut energy, okay? We have the two of pentacles. So this person been juggling. Huh, you're jiggling, baby. Go ahead, baby. You're jiggling, baby. So this person has definitely been juggling, okay? This person has got a lot of priorities that are fucked up. This person has got a lot of situationships and they want to come back in to make you be confused, right? That's all they're doing. They're coming to make you be confused and they're going to try to come back in and try to say they want some type of progress with you. Try to make it like try to some love bombing type of shit, right? Some real fast type of shit. And then we have the page of pentacles here. They only coming in as a page, y'all. Coming in to try to act like they're giving you some type of good news. You, you don't want no page. You don't want a page. Let's see what else we have here. For all my beautiful, wonderful Sagittarius, you ain't got time. Somebody from your past. Huh? What the? What I say? <laughs> Somebody from your past coming back just to interrupt you. Somebody that uh, uh, you have some type of past relationship. You know, you've had some years experience with this person. Okay. <laughs> they about to come back. They about to come in. You see that the hierophant and the high priest? They about to come in and try to act like they on this some spiritual shit. They're trying to act, they're gonna come in and try to act like they're on your your time. What time is it? They're gonna be trying to act like they are trying to build something with you. You this is gonna take strength, y'all. It's gonna take strength because this person may you may have a weakness for this person. You may have a strong connection. You have a history with this person, okay? So it's gonna take strength for you to be able to go ahead and be like, no, I can't take anything from you but work. I can't take anything from you but proofs. I'm not giving any piece of ass nothing to you at all. Like, uh-uh. Heard it all before. You, you've definitely heard it all before. We have the nine of cups here. So, yeah. This is a test. Repeat. This is a test. You shall not fail. And then, you know what? We all have tests. And sometimes we do fail because this person is like makes your flesh weak. But if you know that, Okay, I'm going to say it two ways, y'all. If you know that this person makes your flesh weak, then meet them in public and don't have no not, nothing to say or just completely separate because you're done with it. You've done, 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 done with it. And then the other thing I'm going to say about it, if you do do it, it's just going to, it's hurting your own journey. So we all make mistakes. It's, it's nothing wrong like shit. It, it's nothing wrong with that. Some things sometimes make you weak. We've all been there, done that, all of that. So if you if you decide to go ahead and um I'll say interact with this person, then it's just you're just stagnant, you're just stagnating yourself, okay? You're 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 just um hindering yourself. You're you're just is you're you're not expediting the process, okay? We have justice here. It's time for justice. It's like you've given into this, you've done it before. You you've said it to yourself before. And that's the point that um, stood out to me on the, the general reading, um, the, the collective reading. Um, you have said it to yourself before that you was not going to fall back into the same traps. You was not going to go ahead and, you know, listen to this person and fall for their same pity me, woes me, saying the same shit and not proving anything. You said that before and you don't want to repeat that. So this time, I feel like really with yourself, you're really, it's really a no. It's really a big no. So even in the past, if sometimes you have said that you weren't going to do something and you did it anyway, this time you know. You're really, and this came out in the last reading. So you're really focusing on your, yourself. You're really focusing on your security. And you're really very much, so you're a generous person. You're a giving person. But you're realizing that somebody will keep on using you until you use you. You ain't got time for that. You don't got time to be used up. Look, we don't have no time for no seven of swords, no deceitful energy, none of that. 
not seeing shit for how it truly is. You're seeing everything for how it truly is. And you're not in the whole heartbreak hotel. This is the heartbreak hotel. Which in like you give in to in a situation you know you wasn't supposed to give in because this person is still in some lower vibrational energy. And then you just end up fighting them with fighting with yourself and being all up in your head and blaming yourself. You ain't you ain't going back there. You we ain't going back there. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. It's 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 2023. Got to be 2024 in about like six months or so. What is it? No, less than six months. Like, come on now. It's just new. It's new. You're you're energetic for new. You're you're not. You don't want to waste any more time on this because you feel like that there has been a lot of time where it's not wasted because it's only wasted if you didn't learn this lesson, right? But I really feel like this energy has learned the lesson and you're not putting any other energy into something that's not reciprocating. And something better for you is definitely just on the way for you as well. Uh, a more reciprocatory situation. You know how I make up a word, y'all. So here with the Two of Cups, you have another situation coming in for you that's going to be definitely something that is going to be a relationship. Something that is going to be long term. Something that you're going to um, be able to build upon and create this empire. Something that is going to be equal give and take. So that's absolutely wonderful. So whoever, you know, this person from your past is that's just coming in star in reverse trying to disappoint you, coming in with some type of arrogance like they think that they own you don't know me. Thinking that they own you, thinking that it's just going to be easy just to get back in your good graces. They have lost that privilege. They have lost that privilege and how they think that they just, they very much so big head in their ego thinking that they can just say some shit and get right back into it. It's not going to be like that. We have the temperance. And you know, Sagittarius, every time I do the readings for Sagittarius, tempers always come out. So you really understand in this patience and in and, and your patient journey, you found your purpose. And you know that your purpose is um, to, you know, you know, you definitely, like I said, this person make your flesh weak. Let's not get it twisted. It's not easy. It's not an easy task. You know, but pe certain people are put on here to trigger you. And some people are put, some parts, and you know, whenever people are putting on this earth and they're triggering you, those are things that you need to work on, right? Whenever you're weak to a certain situation, then that is something that you would need to work on. Like, say, for instance, if um, you know that you are always attracting people that gossip all the time, and then you have the spirit of gossip around you, and you need to go ahead and deliver that, right? So you you know there's certain things that you'll say um, to people. You know that people always come to you. God, don't come to me um, about nobody business because your shit ain't perfect and your shit stink too. And I don't got time to hear about nobody business. We all trying to survive and we all trying to make it, period. We have the sun here. Yeah, and that's the energy you're in. You're in the energy of really being balanced. You're in the energy of really um, gaining understanding and having mental clarity on everything. So your mental is not fogged. Maybe in the past, this person was up was um, able to get into your mental mind frame, but now you've really been um, focusing on yourself and working on yourself. And as you have been focusing on yourself and working on yourself, you're realizing and you are, you've realized for quite a while that you were given way more than you should have, right? Because you should have been getting reciprocating a lot more than you what you were um, giving. And what do we have here? We have the three of wands. So you're seeing the bigger picture. You, you're understanding your lessons that you learned, that you've learned, and you're just definitely understanding that you're ready for the next chapter, right? You know, we always see a lot of things about the soft life. You're ready for the soft life. You're ready for the next chapter. We have the Ace of Cups. You're ready for a, a situation that's going to really pour into you, and you'll be able to pour into that as well. And your cup is just going to overflow for each other. And this new love, baby, this new love is kind. This new love is compassionate. This new love is understanding. This new love understands the way that you love to be loved. And this new love is just absolutely just magnificent, right? This is somebody that's going to come in, going to be emotionally balanced. Somebody that you're not going to have any type of wishy-washy energy with. Somebody that's going to put it all on the table. It's not going to be just like, I'm getting the energy of no games played. No games played at all. This person will let you know how it is, how they want you, why they want you, and be consistent with that shit, right? A very loving situation and there's no game like it's like I don't, they want to go ahead and have this relationship with you and be able to create this empire so it's not going to be they don't want to waste no time on no frivolous things so it's not going to be any games played no games played and they're really going to honor you and understand that you are the gift and you are a chosen one and you're going to do the same and respect them and you know give that same energy back to them and it's well deserved it's a, definitely a long time coming and it is well deserved retreat okay baby i'm seeing all type of situations happening whenever you are connected with your true soul path life partner 
and it's a lot of wonderful things. You know, with business, um, in the bed, out the bed, with friendships, with relationships, with partnerships, it's, it's a lot of wonderfulness. A lot of wonderfulness. So I do see that a lot of greatness is coming towards you. Well, after somebody that's going to, you know, try to come in and reconcile with you. But it's like they only want one thing and they're not they're not here for growth. They're here for self. All right. All right. All right. Don't forget to get your energy in and like, comment and subscribe. As always, peace, love and namaste.